难记。When I first started off with folk groups, I had all sorts of names. A group, group called Munji Vega. Nobody that, that we went to perform for could say it, and they certainly couldn't spell it. So when they packed up, I got a new group, and、um, ever since then they've been called Sheer and Vega. It means better than nothing. The first two people I ever taught the whistle to were Maying, who was Suling's sister, and Sharon, Sharon Cord, she was. Sharon turned out to be—I didn't know then—the best whistle I've ever had. That was the beginning, really. Since about mid, early mid seventies, she was about ten at the time when I introduced the whistles, and it grew from there, Munji Vega, and they kept going till about eighty-four, I think, somewhere around there. I retired in ninety-eight, and. During my last couple of years, my intention when I retired was to learn how to make potching, and somehow, when I did retire, it changed into building harps. I don't know how how it happened, but it did, and I made a few. There's one of them still there, and then they became not good enough really for the kids I had, so we began to buy them. Three, three, care. Do you want to play with her? Yeah, me, me, me. Yeah. I will. Well, if you can play the new whistle, we'll all play together the whistle. Okay, ready? Nan, G, three, K. I don't teach them how to read music because I'm not very good at that myself. They do it all by ear. If it's a whistle, we have got a way of writing it down in numbers. Six is a D, and that's all six fingers on, and then E is five, and so on. So they, they learn it by numbers. But for a harp, I just have to show them, because a harp you can't have a harps class with seven or eight harps. It's a one-to-one -one thing. So I, I go round, and hopefully the others are practicing. Hopefully, so many want come in. Can I play the harp? I said, Well, you can come and try. Either they go away and I never see them again, or they carry on going. But, but there's too many. I mean, too many of them are not enough of me, and not even enough harps either, because they're often fighting over harps. You know, Mira Royal, who in was it 2018, she was the BBC Two Folk Musician of the Year or Young Folk Musician of the Year. She was here about 10 years ago, and she was good then. Actually, that year I had even had a little little girl playing、um, Northumbrian small pipes, very well too, far better than me. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what I'd do if I didn't do it. During lockdown, I couldn't come in, and. I can't do the things I used to be able to do. I can't. I used to be able to do lots of walking. Well, now if I do two or three miles, I've had enough, really. And if I wasn't working, I'd be reading the Guardian and failing to do the crossword. And daytime television is not worth watching. So I don't know what I'd do if I didn't do this, to be honest. But it's not a driving force for me. Driving force is filling my day. <laughs>